Hey, hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to take a look at the shower panels I've got made. I've cut them out on the CNC. I forgot to videotape that process. Um, but we have not glued them all together. We have to put an edge on one and we have to repair one. We made a mistake on one of the, the panels. So I'll show you all that. Let's get started. All right, so here's one of the panels. We made a mistake on this one. This was a left panel. You can see the, the first mistake here we made, um, we cut this tight, these corners tight, and it should have a 5 16 radius in there. So I made this template, and that's gonna go in there, and we'll just trim that right around. Should be perfect. Next thing is uh, when I made the template, I had actually put um, a notch in here around some casing, but the customer wanted the casing um, removed. So we had to cut across here, glue this piece on, and as you can see, it's a, it's a perfect, perfect match. So what we'll do is we'll just, We'll just trim this here and here, and we should be good. So that's the left panel. Here's the right panel. It's gonna have a decorative strip in there. Customer wanted to use another piece of solid surface material, colored. See, this is the way the, this is where the curb goes, and this is the leg of the outside of the shower surround. But that's what it's supposed to look. Anyway, I haven't glued this thing together. You can see it's in, it's in three pieces. So we'll glue that together. This is, I should probably come around the other side. This is the back panel. But it's a, it's a shower surround, but it used to be a tub, so that's why it's so wide. It's 60 inches wide. This is gonna be the seam, the job seam. So we're gonna bring this in, we're gonna install this first, and then we're going to install this on top. There'll be a seam in the field, and this portion right here is where the soap caddy goes. So the first thing I'm gonna do, this is pretty much, this, this panel here, the back panel is pretty much done. We just have to sand it and finish it. So that's, that's pretty basic. This right panel has gotta be seamed together and then sand it down. And then we need to build up the edge, the, the leading edge right here, a little bit thicker because our wall is crooked. And we gotta do the same thing, same thing with the left panel. Okay, we're back. We're gonna seam up this panel right now. So I've got two seams, one here and one here. It's a light, dark light. And so we're gonna use, I, actually I don't know what color glue we're gonna use, whichever we have for it. It doesn't really matter if you use a light color or a dark color. It just, it doesn't matter. You won't see it at the end. But so I'll get started, you can watch. And I might chime in here a little bit and kind of explain what we're doing. But the idea is we're gonna get these two panels glued together. And then after the adhesive dries, We'll sand it down and make it all one nice piece, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is put some clear tape so the adhesive doesn't stick to the wood. We're gonna use acetone, paper towel. We're gonna clean both sides of the seam. Make sure there's no dirt or oil or grease on it. All right, so where we're at now is we're spacing these three pieces, each piece. We're having about an eighth inch in between each piece so that we can squeeze the glue in and then we'll pull the pieces tight together with a seam clamp. So next step is to get the right pop, proper color glue and we'll squeeze it into the joint and we'll pull it together.
Okay. So I got matching glue, and I'm going to put two beads in there if it goes in real good. If not, I'll put it where it needs to be. But I'm going to go two times through the seam. So you can kind of see what kind of clamp I'm using. This is an air clamp. So you open this up and uh, it creates a suction on these two little pads. And then when you turn this dial, this dial here, it pulls the two pieces together, but it keeps it nice and flat on the top. All right, so now we just have to let the adhesive cure and through the magic of TV, we'll be finished. We're done. It's all glued up. And so I'm now I'm gonna show you how to sand these seams level because it needs to be all nice and flat. So we're gonna ski route it. Oh, let me get the ski route. Here's the ski router. It's got two little skis on both sides. It's got a router bit that will cut that glue down flush with the top of the material. Okay, so we're done with uh, sanding the thing flat. Now we have to finish sand it, but before we do that, we need to put an edge on it to make the panel look thicker. We're gonna make it look about seven eighths thick. So we're gonna do that on both panels. Uh, let me reset, you know what, let me just flip this thing over and we'll show you how to do it here. We don't need to show you how to do both panels, we'll just do the one. So let me turn this over and we'll set it up. This is just a regular grinder. We're using this. Oh my God, look how dirty it is. Oh, that's better. Okay. So, I'm using the, the grinder 
to just make the bottom of the seam smooth. You don't want any offsets. So the, the different materials are not always perfectly uh, flat or the same thickness. So we're gonna uh, just grind this down. It doesn't have to look pretty or anything. All right, the next step. See that bit? That's a bevel bit, or 45 degree chamfer bit. And we're gonna go around the bottom, and then we're also gonna go around these openings right here. Just in case there's anything on the wall that gets in the way right at those cutouts. And it makes it easier. If we have to trim the bottom, then we can, we can do that with, um, I'm sorry. We, if we put a, a chamfer on the back side of the panel, then when we have to trim it or scribe it into the bottom of the, the pan, then it's a lot easier because you, you just have a little bit of material. Plus that chamfer gives a little bit of space for the silicone. It just gives much more, a thicker bead of silicone right there at the bottom. So let's get started. I'm just gonna do, I'm just gonna do the bottom and around those cutters. take these sticks, they're strips of edge, and we're gonna build up the leading edge about seven eighths of an inch. So, um, and we're gonna do the, the front and the top. Okay, that's it, we've got the edge all on, and so now we just have to wait for the adhesive to cure, and we'll trim it, and then flip that back over, and we'll be able to sand and finish the panel, nice and done, to a satin finish. So, I'm going to turn this off, and I'm going to glue the other edge on the other panel, I don't need to show you that, and then when we come back, ooh, the panel will be done and cured. It's all finished. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove all the clamps, I'm gonna flip it over, and then I'm going to trim the edge and put an eighth inch radius on, let's see, the right side and the top. So let's get started.
the bearing on the top. So the panel's already cut to shape, so we're gonna run that bearing right along the leading edge of the top, and it's gonna trim off that edge that I let hang over a little bit proud of the countertop, or the, I'm sorry, the, the shower panel. So and it'll trim it off real nice and flush. This is an eighth inch router bit, eighth inch round over bit. I'm just gonna run that along the leading edge of the top. Uh, well, so we're finished fabricating the panel. Now we just have to finish sand it. We're gonna sand it to a satin finish. And so let's see, let me, uh, let me turn this off. I'm gonna flip it over to a time lapse so we can get through this. You don't wanna watch me sand a, a panel, but let me turn this off and we'll get started with a time lapse so you'll see the process. Okay, we're all finished up. I'm gonna take the camera off the tripod and I'm gonna show you an up close of the finished panel. All right, so here's the finished panel. It's a satin finish. I know it's a little hard to see the shine uh, with this camera, but just sand it with 320 grit sandpaper. Now let me go around to the other side. There you go, you can see a little bit of the shine. It's not a polished finish, it just adds a shine to it. So anyway, that's a finished panel. If you have any questions, be sure to comment below, and please like and subscribe to the video. See you next time.